Now, speaking of warm and home design, Hamish is here. And Hamish, you've brought along a guest. I know, I haven't brought along a friend in a long time. No, so I use friend. That's right. <laughs> I've brought along Wei Boris from Cozy Wall Installation. It's getting cold, and I think it's time that we should have a chat about this sort of thing. How are you, Wade? Yeah, good, thanks, guys. Okay, kicking off, uh, tell me, uh, what is the importance of insulation? Uh, the simple answer is good insulation equals a warmer, drier, healthier home. It's that simple. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the simple thing is, is when I step out of bed and my feet freeze off, <laughs> that's the answer to good insulation because you've got it, I haven't got it under my floors. Okay, so, nice so is good insulation insulation that's built to code or is that just the minimum? Yeah, well, let's be honest. The code that we're building to at the moment is not great and, and the majority of our housing stock was built to a code that was even worse than that. Right. So, you know, it's a big issue. And, and the reality is if you're building new or if you're going to retrofit that you should be building, you know, with insulation or insulating above the current the current code. Stop your cold feet, Mel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, obviously, the benefits are, you know, you're exactly warm and cosy homes. What about the different types? Because I get confused. There seems to be so much on offer. Yeah, uh, you break it down into three sort of segments. I guess you've got your underfloor, your ceiling, and your walls, and then. In all those segments, you've got different categories of, of product. You know, you've got your polyester, which is a plastic, uh, your wool and blends, fiberglass, and there's some good fiberglass and some not so great fiberglass. And then you've also got uh, expanded foams and SIP panels and all sorts of things. Oh, like that's that. quite a lot. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. yeah, there is. I was going to ask you that. So, are some better than others? I mean, I know. <laughs> yeah, from my perspective, there's no such thing as bad insulation. Sure. I think uh, generally what you get is people not pairing the right insulation up with the right job. You know, so you get something that's not doing what it should be and then complaints and then issues down the track. But okay, well that, that brings me to the next point then. Should you use different insulation for different parts of the home? You know, different for the floor as to the ceiling, etc. Yeah, I, I mean they all, um, they're product specific and, and you know, you need to select the, the product that's going to suit. So underfloor insulation for example, thermally believe it or not, it's not as important. But what is important is it's self-supporting, mostly because it's got to hold itself up exposed to moisture and things like that so that side of it's really important uh, if you look at the ceiling thermally most of the heat goes up so you know really high R values in the ceiling and then if you look at walls different again you're going into a really tight cavity so you need a really dense insulation to get in there and something that's going to work long term because you can't get in there and fix it afterwards so. actually that's one of the things I was going to ask you which is the most important like I didn't you know I thought the floor would be super important but you've got to get the stuff that sticks in so it doesn't all fall out yeah, um, so should you be getting a professional to do it, or should you do it yourself? Yeah, look, I've been in some really nasty situations uh, Go and over have a my look life. At house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Installing situation, you know, installing insulation, and and look, reality is, if you don't mind getting dirty and, and you're not claustrophobic, <laughs> then by all means, do your research and give it a try. Yeah. Um, but reality is, ceilings and floors, you know, you should really use a professional. Um, go to one of the websites like Insulation Association New Zealand, IONS. Have a look. There's a whole bunch of guys there listed independently that can mm. give you a free quote. Um, you know, when it comes to walls, though, definitely a professional. Because if there's little gaps in things, it makes a big difference, doesn't it? Like, it doesn't yeah. work properly if you've got, like, it's not fitted properly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So how are the different types installed? So, because um, you can do stuff that's like blowing into walls, can't you? Um, yep. Or you can have the, the back kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, under floors or ceilings is typically quite easy. You know, you get access to that space and you put on a bat or blanket or you may blow it. Mm -hmm. um, walls is quite different. You've got two options, really. You can get your builder in and, and take all your linings off or your cladding and rip everything down and then put in some building paper and, and some bats and then put your jib back up and your skirtings and your linings and all those sorts of that things. That sounds hard. It's a bit of a major. <laughs> or, or the second option is to try and, you know, use a, a system like our Cozy Wolf system. So, um, you know, we send guys along and, and do an assessment of your building and, and get it done that way. All right, so Cozy Wolf can take care of that issue for us. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have um, trained assessors who will come along. First thing they do is make sure that, you know, we can put the insulation into your home because you can't do every house. Um, typically, the older homes that we're looking at, so pre-1990, uh, and a guy's come along, give you a free quote. If you decide you want to go ahead, drill some little holes from the inside of the outside, fill that cavity with insulation that should be in there, and then um, reinstate it for you. So, you know, couple of days, it all looks as good as new. Oh, Brilliant. Excellent. I tell you what, your phone and your website's going to be very busy, I think, in the <laughs> next few <laughs> hours. Cold snap timing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mel, first customer, I think. <laughs> I okay. Uh, thank you, Hamish, and thank you so much, Wade. Yeah, that was you. awesome. No to find out more from Cozy Wall, you can head to the website, which is on screen now. <laughs>